talk basketball before we get to just Vegas in general. You're, you're now shooting, I think it's a little over 40% from three, averaging over a made three per game. Just sort of, what, what do you think's led to that level of production for you? I mean, it's just putting the work in, putting the time in. It's not really a secret recipe or a formula to it. It's just taking your craft seriously, and, you know, putting the work in and uh, doing it with a purpose. Is that kind of where you expected your production to be from the perimeter? Yeah, no, no doubt. And that's what the team expects from me. So, you know, me, um, you know, knowing that you know, me being able to make shots and spread the floor, making us, make us that much better of a team, um, you know, I just take it um, more seriously in terms of, you know, making shots and stepping up and you know, helping my teammates out when I can. How much do you want to get to the consistency level of having your games every night, keeping control of the team? I really don't feel like, you know, it's me being consistent necessarily. It's more so, you know, just when I play consistent minutes, like, like long stretches of um, time, you know, I usually perform really well. And the numbers um, you know, say so for themselves. So, I mean, it's really just, you know, me doing what I can to stay on the floor and, uh, you know, play those consistent minutes to where I can uh, produce at the uh, rate that I have. When you get rolling like that, do you feel yourself rolling? Yeah, no doubt. But I mean, it's really just like, all right, I, I made one now, just be ready to shoot the next one because I know it's coming back. So it's really just, you know, always being ready and down because I know, you know, we got Trace down low, we got X getting fast on people in the ball screen. So they cause so much, they bring so much attention to themselves that, you know, I get the same shots pretty much every game. I just got to be ready to knock them down. If you had ups and downs in your freshman season, what was just the biggest takeaway you had looking at? Um, just really taking care of uh, upstairs, like, you know, just being strong mentally. Because, uh, I mean, obviously coming in and, you know, having all this hype and then, you know, things taking a few different turns than I expected. It's kind of just, like, okay, I had some adversity, so now it's just like, how do I go about it? And, you know, I really just, you know, was able to really find myself more and, you know, and all the stuff that happened last year. But, you know, I feel like I came out like a, a better person, a better man, most importantly. So. You know, just my mental component of the game and just life, period. You know, I, I see everything and take everything a little bit more serious. If you could um, if you could draw up what your game looks like come February or March, what are the three or four things you would want to be best at come, come that point in time? Um, first thing I would say is obviously just being a leader on the floor, um, an elite communicator, an elite defender. Because, I mean, a lot of the times when I'm in the game and we get stops, I get out in transition and either create offense for myself or the rest of the team. So really just being somebody who we can depend on to um, get stops and be a leader on that defensive end. And then on the offensive end of the floor, it's really just about, you know, me making shots, creating my own shot when needed, and just really picking my spots in the right slots in the game uh, when it's my time to attack. When you talk about just having a different mentality, I guess, from the last season, is there anything you do preparation-wise uh, not really. I mean, but but now that I know I have um, a bigger role on the team in comparison to last year, it's just you know being more focused. You know, when we're going through scout and you know leading up to the game, taking care of my body because I got to be available. So you know that that's the most important thing. So just really you know taking you know everything more serious to where I can be on the floor and be productive. Tomorrow, what did this group learn about itself? Making adjustments from that Rutgers loss to the win on Wednesday. Um, I would say, you know, we, we can't get out rebounded. That, that's the main thing. And we know that, especially like from some of our losses from uh, last year, you know, we got to, we always got to be the more physical team and play with more force. So I would just say, you know, we learned that, you know, we can't ever, you know, get comfortable. Not that we were just that, you know, we can't really give off that impression. And we know that we got to come in, you know, start the game off strong and just be ready to roll. Playing on a stage like this, the KU game next Saturday, a couple of big opportunities for yeah. you guys to really be on a national stage. What does it mean to this group? I mean, that, that's what we hear, that's what we do it for. That's what we came to Indiana for. Um, you know, these are the games that we usually would watch on TV, but now that we're playing in them, it's like, you know, we got to take advantage of the opportunity because we here, so, you know, it's time to get to it. I mean, it really ain't, you know, too much to it because, I mean, it's like, you know, we got the team, we knew what the schedule was at the gate, so it was just time to go out there and compete. What, what, what about the environment? Atmosphere, uh, quite a 
I mean, none, none of that is really anybody's concern. Because, I mean, before we jumped on the plane, we knew that it was, this was a business trip. You know, we didn't come here for all the, like, the gadgets and gadgets and everything in Vegas. You know, if you want to do that, you know, you come back to Vegas on your own time. But right now, we're here for uh, Indiana basketball and to come win a basketball game. So, you know, like, like, you know, we were talking about it all week. You know, we know where we're going. We know what the atmosphere is like outside of the court. So, just being, being smart and, you know, not forgetting why we're here. What stands out the most about Arizona when you watch those guys? They really got in transition. They're a really fast-paced team. Um, you know, they'll, they'll defend when they want to, but it's just like they really want to, you know, push the ball, push the pace. So, you know, we just got to, you know, make sure our transition defense is on point. But, uh, and at the same time, you know, we just got we got to score the ball in a high clip as well because they got a really uh, fast offense, West Coast offense. So, you know, we just got to be the more physical team, like I said earlier, and just play with more force. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was crazy. Like, I'm talking about two, three shakes a day. I'm eating extra meal. I'm eating a snack before I go to bed. So it was really just what I eat because we put the work in in the weight room, but I just had to really like double and triple my calories so I can uh, compete physically because that was like one of the biggest things on my checklist from um, this offseason. What were some of the foods that you ate? A lot, a lot of starches, obviously like red meats, chicken, but just things like that are high in calories. Uh, so, I mean, it's really like, it ain't no recipe, just a lot of food, like and a lot, like frequently. So like, you know, really just eating a lot to the point to where um, it's not a point today where like I'm hungry. Like either I'm eating a snack or I eat a meal, just something to where, you know, I, uh, you know, keep food in my body. Did you ever have any memorable AAU moments in Vegas? This is actually my first time in Vegas. Yeah, my uh, AAU team, we never came out here. And the one opportunity I did have to come out here, I'm from Kansas, they were driving. And it, this wasn't my main team, but they wanted me to come play with them. I said, I will not get in that bus. Not, I'm not driving to Las Vegas. So, yeah, this, this is my first time being out here. It was solid. He tried to sing a little bit all the time, but I was glad he stepped up to the plate and, you know, performed. We was trying to get him up there the whole time. I knew they was going to get him at one point, but it was hilarious. And that's just a reflection of our team and, you know, the atmosphere that we try to create.